We are here today at Disney's Animal Kingdom now. I don't really have a big plan for today, to be honest. I only have three things that I really want to do, so I guess I do have a plan. Number one, I want to ride Expedition Everest. Number two, I want to ride Flight of Passage. Number three, I want to go to either um, Hongi Pongu or Harambe's Market for lunch because I went to both places last time I was here. Go check out that video if you're not already, and it was fantastic. So that's my goal for today. Let's go and uh, explore the park. We're going to Tusker House. I love Tusker House because it has a character meet and greet. It's a character dining and all of the characters, Mickey and his friends, are all in their safari outfits. And I love meeting characters, especially when they're in different costumes. Here is my breakfast plate. I got a little bit of everything. I thought breakfast was really, really good. I thought that they uh, had a lot of variety in what you could choose for breakfast. It wasn't just your basic eggs and bacon sausage. A lot of diverse flavors and I really enjoyed it. I would definitely give this one a thumbs up. Now we're heading into Pandora because we're going on Flight of Passage. We have a reservation booked, so let's go over on Flight of Passage. One of my favorite rides, not my favorite ride in Animal Kingdom because that's the expedition Everest, but I do love Flight of Passage. And let's go and explore Pandora. I got my stuff on, let's see if they notice. Success. Now we are entering Pandora and we can hear all of the little creatures all over in the plants. Have you guys seen The Way of Water? And if you have seen it, let me know. Did you prefer Avatar the first one from 2009 or did you prefer the newest one? I prefer the first one, but I think everyone else says the second one's better, but I just like the first one a little bit more. Welcome to the Valley of Moara. We need to find the compatible match of your genetic material with the genetic material of one of the avatar bodies that we already have. Almost. Yes, got him. Now, let's find you your avatar matches. I love Flight of Passage. It's a fantastic ride. And I don't know what we're gonna do now, but just will jump cut to whatever I do next because I have no plan for today. So we just went to Gorilla Falls and now we're going on Kilimanjaro Safaris. There, there is only about 5,000 of them left in the world as they are often poached for their horns that contain keratin. That's the same thing our nails and hair are made of. They actually hold their breath underwater for about 8 minutes at a time. And they actually aren't going to swim in that water. They are going to walk around the bottom of the river. Our friends suppose they can't actually sleep underwater as well. 
with their body having a natural instinct to be able to float back up to the surface when they need air. Now friends, those zebras, they are going to have quite the unique stripe pattern to them. No two zebra stripes are going to be the same, much like our own fingerprints. Now a baby, they could actually recognize its own mother's stripes as well. Our friends, giraffe, when they're born, they can be born up to about six feet tall, and they are going to reach heights of 16 to 20 feet when they are fully grown. Those horns are going to get about six feet long from tip to tip. That's about three feet for each horn. And they are going to contain a honeycomb-like pattern on the inside. How great a flamingo they already get their name because they are the largest of the flamingo. Now because they are the largest, they also just so happen to be the latest shade of pink. And then it is going to be the female lions who go out and find food for their bride. All the male lions, they tend to like to stay back to protect the cubs. Now friends, if you ever get to hear a lion roar, it is going to be quite the sound to hear. They actually produce a really sweet type of milk. And that milk is often going to be used by farmers as an extra produce to sell. The safari was super cool, and I think now we're going to go over to Dino Land. But look at this amazing view of the Tree of Life. How many animals can you spot right here? I think there's roughly in the 300s carved into the tree of life. Let's head inside of Dino Land and inside of Donald Dino Bash. We're gonna be going on dinosaur right now. Last time I was here at Animal Kingdom, I told you guys the dinosaur ride was the exact same ride layout as the Indiana Jones ride in Adventureland over at Disneyland. Go and watch that video if you've not already, because I have a lot of tips and some fun facts in there, so go check that one out. We are now entering Dinosaur. dinosaur i like dinosaur a lot i think i do prefer indiana jones though compared to dinosaur and now i'm gonna be heading over into asia to go and ride my favorite ride which is of course expedition everest if you watch any of my videos you know how much i love disco yeti i think disco yeti is literally one of the most funnest things in all of disney so we're gonna go and head over to expedition everest i see it right now Fun fact about Expedition Everest, if they ever decided to fix the Yeti, they would have to take off the entire top half of the uh, mountain just to get inside to fix that Yeti. And that's why the Yeti is probably never going to be fixed, which is okay with me. The Disco Yeti is pretty cool. 70 minute wait for Everest, you know it's a busy day. So I had a lightning lane for Everest, so I was able to get on super quickly. And I have an hour before I have a lightning lane for Navi River Journey, which I don't like that ride. I definitely think it needs more animatronics or something else. It's super, super boring. But until I wait for Navi River Journey, I think maybe it's tough to be a bug. Maybe, I don't really know, to be honest. And this is my least favorite park, I'm not gonna lie. I know everyone likes this park. Um, I'm in the minority. I just, I don't really care for this park. What do you guys, do you guys like it? Let me know in the comments down below. We decided to do It's Tough to Be a Bug, which has an amazing view of the Tree of Life. This is easily the closest that you can get to the Tree of Life without being backstage as a cast member. It's Tough to Be a Bug is a very cute show. We're going to be going over to Navi River Journey in Pandora, and that's going to be the end of our day here at Animal Kingdom. Now, I have a new video coming out later this week because tonight we are going to an exclusive After Hours event only for cheerleaders and their family, and my sister is a cheerleader, so I got invited to this Hollywood Series After Hours event. So be on the lookout later this week for that video. I'm going there after here at Animal Kingdom, but let's go over to Navi River Journey. Uber has arrived, but it's so blurry. It's too dark in this ride.
It's literally a waterfall that's on a screen with bubbles. There's a tree of life behind me. I think we're gonna call it an end to today's video. Make sure you like, subscribe, do all that stuff. Check out another video right over here while you're at it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you comment down below if you liked today's video and what was your favorite part. See you in the next one.